Hey guys, I'm back with another nail hack and today we're gonna be doing nail jewelry. Let's get started. Now I'm actually gonna give you guys a few options, but let's start with this one. First, you're gonna start off with a frame and then I'm gonna fill that with some clear gel just to create a bottom layer and then we're going to flash cure that for five or 10 seconds. Now you wanna go through your nail art stash. You can either use a mylar or you can use a fine glitter. I'm opting for the glitter, but you can actually use anything that you want. And here's a little tip, if you're using pigments or fine glitter, you can always use your cuticle pusher as a spoon. Then next we're going to take a builder gel. And before you ask me, yes, it does have to be builder gel. No, I can't tell you why right now, but you just want to take a generous amount of that onto your brush and then drop it down onto your glitter. At first it won't really want to fall, but gravity will pull it down and then just do a circular motion until you have a dome. We're gonna cure this for a full cure cycle, so follow your instructions. And lastly, all you have to do is apply your top gel. I don't know why, but I'm actually really prone to like always forgetting this step, but make sure that you guys don't skip it because it makes your glitter shine really bright. And if you have it, I do recommend a non-wipe type coat because then you won't have to clean these little tiny pieces. So there you go, one down. And in case you were curious, yes, you can make these without the frame. For this one, I use the same technique, I just used mylar. Now, how about we try putting something else in our frame? So instead of clear gel, we're actually gonna start off with a color gel, and I'm gonna put this into the base, spreading it out evenly, making sure that you touch the frame. And if you guys want, you can actually skip to the last step, which is to add your builder gel. However, I'm gonna put a design in here, and you can do whatever you want. You can even place um, different objects in here, but we're gonna do a leopard print, so I'm gonna add our spots. And I'm sorry in advance, guys, but my hands always get in front of the camera when they shouldn't be, so I wasn't able to show you the complete design, but if you guys wanna see an in-depth leopard print tutorial, then just let me know in the comments. Then finally, after we've frozen those layers, again, we're gonna take our builder gel and we're going to form a dome. And just a little tip for you guys, if you're not completely confident in sculpting, then you can flip this piece over and the gravity will create an arch for you. And as I mentioned before, if you just wanna add a color, then you can skip the builder gel and use a top coat for a shallow well like this. And you can use an open frame or you can use a well like these. But I have to say the most common thing that I get asked about are turquoise. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own. So first you're gonna start off with your color and I'm actually gonna mix these two, but remember you guys can make this whatever color you want. And I'll admit, I kind of grabbed these two colors really randomly, but when I mixed them together, I was like, oh my God. So this is my new favorite color of the month. It's so gorgeous in person, I wish you could tell. So to this, you're gonna add your builder gel, or if you have the art design powder that I've showed you guys in my other 3D videos, then you can use that. And here's another tip. You wanna use this small circular motion that I'm showing you on the side, um, and this is gonna allow you to pick up a lot of builder gel at once. I knew I was gonna get my hands in the way and you wouldn't be able to see it, so I was prepared. And then you just wanna drop that pearl into an oval shape using that same circular motion that you normally use. And again, you can turn this over to make sure that you get a nice uh, rounded arch in the middle. So now I'm actually gonna apply a second layer of gel and I'm kind of reinforcing the shape that I just created, but I'm also going into the wet gel with a black color and I'm creating my veining. The reason I do this in two stages is because if you apply too much gel at one time, it may not cure all the way through and possibly wrinkle or still have some wet areas. So as a last step, again, you're gonna apply your top gel and cure. And if you do have any small imperfections, you can always shape it up with a nail file. And we're done guys. But I figured you guys might wanna see a little demo. And if you guys remember a while back, I posted some Japanese inspired nails where I had a lot of 3D art on just clear natural nails. And um, you guys were curious how I got them. So this is kind of a little bit of a recreation, even though not literally. So all I did was apply a clear base gel to my natural nails. And then I applied a little bit more clear gel to adhere my stones and my 3D art. And then I froze that in a LED light. Then I apply another layer of clear gel, and this is almost like putting on your color polish layer, except not. And then finally, I just put on my top coat, like normal. So after you cure that, you just remove the inhibition layer, and you're done. So there you go, guys, another nail hack. And if you have any questions about gel, I know this might have been a little bit confusing since I didn't explain, but the reason why is because I think I've covered it in the upcoming gel FAQ video. So if you guys were looking out for that, I promise it's literally only a matter of days. I just need to finish editing it. So until then, here's a sneak peek.